And I'll be talking about the new Gemini cards coming out of Power of the Elements. I think that's what this set is called. But anyways, let's get started. First off, we have Gemini Quartz. And it's level 4 Earth Effect. Wow, okay. It's a level 4 Earth Fairy Effect monster with 1500 attack and 1500 defense. And its first effect reads, if your opponent controls a monster, so, you know, going second... You can discard this card from your hand. Set one fusion continuous spell directly from your deck. Also, you cannot specialize on monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Gemini monsters. Which is pretty nice because that opens up the possibility of Brilliant Fusion coming back into the game. But obviously, um, there's also another continuous fusion spell coming out with these cards. And... I was like, and when I first read this first line, I was gonna say, "Oh, that sounds like it's gonna be abused because that means you can never have Brilliant Fusion back into the game." Because, or even if you don't bring Brilliant Fusion back into the game, that means you're gonna have to walk around when you when it comes to creating new fusion spells in the future because you don't want to be able to set any continuous fusion spell directly from your deck. But the, you can only special summon Gem Knights for the rest of this turn is a pretty nice restriction. Unless they're doing this after they've already set up what they need to set up. Second effect. If this card is used as material for fusion summon, you can send one... You can send... Reading. <clears throat> If this card is used as material for fusion summon, yeah, it's because of the way this is phrased, used as material for, for fusion summon. This just said for a fusion summon, and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can add one Gem Knight monster from your graveyard to your hand except Gem Knight Quartz, which is pretty nice, especially, uh, especially since there's many ways to fusion summon in this deck. The only problem is this effect wouldn't trigger if you used your, um, I forgot what the card is called, but basically it's a Gem Knight Link monster. Its effect wouldn't trigger off of that, because it has to be sent to the graveyard or banished. And to my knowledge, there isn't any way to banish outside of Absorb, outside of Absorb Fusion, I think. I think that's the name. It basically adds a Gem Knight card from your deck to your hand. And then it also had the added effect that you can fusion summon by banishing material, but people rarely ever use that part of the card's effect for obvious reasons. Next we have Brilliant Rose, and it's a level 2 light rock effect monster with 500 attack and 500 defense. This card is always treated as a Gem Knight card. Should have also specified always treated as a Melodious card, because it also has to do with Melodious. Anyways, first effect reads, you can discard one Gem Knight or Melodious card, special summon this card from your hand. Pretty nice, and it also allows you to spam Gem Knights onto the field so you can get to your Link monster really easily and fusion summon like, like mad. Second effect... Once per turn, you can send one Gem Knight or Melodious Monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. This card's name, type, attrib and attribute becomes the sent monster's original type and attribute until the end of this turn. This effect is mostly applicable to um, Melodious, since a lot of your Melodious require Melodious Divas or Melodious Maestras. So this is just a fine touch. But you're mostly going to be using this effect in Melodious. This first effect is the only effect that actually matters for Gem Knights. Next we have the Fusion Monster, Gem Knight Lady Rose Diamond. And it's a level 8 Fairy Effect Monster with 2700 attack and 2400 defense. And it requires 1 Gem Knight Monster plus 1 Fairy Monster. And that isn't too hard to actually accomplish. Especially when we get to the fusion spell. The first time a Gem Knight Monsters you control is destroyed by card effect. During each opponent's turn it is not destroyed. 
Should have also included battle, but whatever. Second effect. When your opponent activates a monster effect during your turn, quick effect, kind of lame that it's only during your turn, but whatever, you can banish one Gem Knight card from your graveyard target, then target one face-up card your opponent controls, destroy it. It doesn't negate, which kind of sucks, and it only happens during your turn, but given how this deck is a go second deck, I can kind of see why Konami did it, but it's still pretty dumb. Because it limits this deck's defensive abilities going first. And next and lastly we have Scatter Fusion, and it's a continuous spell. And its effect reads, if your opponent controls a monster. If your opponent controls a monster, you can fusion summon one non-rock, keyword being non-rock, Gem Knight fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your deck as fusion material. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from, from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Gem Knight monsters. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monsters. The nice thing about this card is you can basically use it multiple times. Like you can fusion summon a monster on one turn and next turn fusion summon a monster. Basically as long as this card is on the field, but they all go to the grave if this card leaves the field. Which is pretty nice. It's basically brilliant fusion, but with a stipulation. A very well needed stipulation at that. Anyways, tell me what you guys think about the new Gem Knight cards. It has been me, your boy Blue Gatsu Guy, and I'm out.